Mr. Speaker, U.S. President Obama has campaigned and been elected on an energy plan weighted toward reducing carbon emissions and investing heavily in renewables and a green economy. And this new reality has serious consequences for Alberta. My questions are to the Minister of the Environment. The President and the Prime Minister are beginning the process of a North American cap-and-trade system. Is Alberta planning to take its usual tactic and opt out of a national system to reduce emissions? The Honourable Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'm pleased to, uh, to report to the member that, uh, that Alberta, in fact, is working with the federal government and is, is very much looking forward to our opportunity to engage uh, with, with the new U.S. administration to talk about the need for a North American strategy with respect to climate change. We have to have a, 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 a North American strategy, Mr. Speaker, uh, because Alberta simply can't go it alone. The Honourable Member. Well, uh, thank you very much. Um, again, to the same Minister, given that the Americans expect specifics and will not just accept a $25 million PR plan or talk, is the Minister telling us that he's going to expand the Alberta Cap and Trade Program into a national system, or is this a, just a general discussion? What exactly are you going to do to reduce uh, absolute carbon emissions? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, in the, in the member's preamble, she referred to the need for investment in technology. And she identified exactly uh, what the strategy needs to be for Alberta. We need to have a system that allows for the investment in the technology here in Alberta. And, and how that fits into uh, any kind of a, of a cap and trade system really re remains to be seen. Clearly, the Premier has indicated already today, we're not interested in a scheme that is going to be taking funds and flowing funds out of Alberta and, and not allowing us to make that much needed investment in technology. We're looking for an opportunity for Alberta to be part of a North America wide scheme. We're looking for an opportunity for Alberta to invest in the technology that allows us not only to solve the problems for Alberta but for North America. Okay, to the same Minister. Given the oil sands have come under international scrutiny for their impact on the environment, what specific actions beside, besides carbon capture, which so far is the only tool in your toolbox, what specific actions can the government use to prove envi improve uh, environmental sustainability? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, apparently um, the member wasn't around when I talked about the fact that in the first six months of our emissions management program, we've already identified two and a half million tons in savings um, in, 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 re in related activity. But specific to the oil sands, because apparently she wants to concentrate on the oil sands, there are a number of opportunities for reductions in CO2 that don't involve cap and trade, one of which is the emerging new technology for in situ production that is starting to find alternatives to steam assisted gravity drainage. We're looking at, at ways of significantly reducing the amount of water, which in turn reduces the amount of steam, which in turn re reduces the amount of heat that's required. And so there's one very good example of how technology will change and the future will be different from what we the Honourable Member for